Hey guys, Dennis here from Respect Studios and uh, here we're going to talk about the uh, tile link and offsetting. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to make just a simple sphere because I don't need that uh, previous model. Let me duplicate the shader graph uh, 02 and duplicate uh, material 02. Apply material 02 to the sphere and use the shader graph 03. Let me double click here, then delete everything. Okay. Now uh, you have, let me remove all these and add only one texture. And this is going to be the ground cracked. Okay, let's make a not projection. Let's make a property and uh, use the diffuse. And let's make another texture sample applied here. Apply to the albedo and hit save. Let me see if that's going to work. Okay, everything seems to be working. Now you have UV node, which can be hooked it up here. Okay, this is the actual UV representation. You can do some stuff with it. For example, you can move the U or V, which is going to produce uh, interesting effects. Let's sort of, uh, just split that, for example, into U and V, and we can get... Uh, remap and use the u for example not a pro remap let me move this here okay let's take a remap and use the horizontal and type from negative 50 to 50 you can see now and uh, we can add one float i'm just going to leave it name it as float for, for now just i'm going to show you something Load, and if we hit add the we are going to plug that here and that here and now you can see that I can go to, to 0 0.5 then 50 and negative 50 now 50 meant negative 50 because this is how we add it but if we want to, hmm, that's weird. We we should be able to clamp it from negative from zero point one to one, and now we can go to point five, point one. Oh no, negative point five. Yeah, but that doesn't actually work. So we can actually let me try to multiply it. Okay, 0.5, 6. This is actually how hard the split between the two colors will be. Anyway, what I want to show you is actually another note. <coughs> I want to show you the tiling and offset, which can we hook it in the UV. And now you can make two floats. U offset. And another one, which will be called V offset. So let's make a property. Name it U offset. Let's make another property, which will be V offset. And now you can make a combine. Let's combine these two. This is the U. This is the oops. This is the V, and let's take this and add it to the offset. This is to the UVs, and now if we go here, and we start moving them, you can offset the texture, right? Now, what we can actually do is animate it, but we can animate it without using any code. So we can type time, and uh, multiply these two properties. Multiply, another multiply, let's apply that here, and the time here, let's hook that here, okay, let's apply that here, and the time here, let's hook that here, and now if we type point 0.2, we're going to be animating the offset, we can animate 
the negative point two, for example, in the y. Okay. You can use the sign, for example. to do some interesting effects let me just save it so you can do like a you know curve effect point five and we can speed that up actually by deleting time and creating a sign node which will be let's create another float and type it sign sign speed multiply it to a property sign speed add it here add that here and uh, we'll create a time which will be added here and uh, actually we should not do that sorry we should do it like this we have to multiply with the time so now we can apply the sign to this one and to this one hit save and now the sign speed can be 3 and uh, we can get the time and apply it to the vertical to get that effect here let me hit play negative point five negative point two one Yeah. So you can see the fact that it, I don't like this. The fact that you can get. All right. I'm going to end this part here. And uh, for the next tutorials, I'm going to make uh, some more interesting stuff, like uh, more complex shaders. So I just now wanted to show you, it's weird when you stop playing, you have to reopen the shader editor. Uh, I just wanted to show you how, how the notes are working. Uh, the different type of notes, there are a lot of notes, although I would like to have more, because for example, there is no... At least I couldn't find like direction, uh, like color. We probably need this. Uh, we only have a light probe, and I'm not sure what exactly we can use it for. But anyway, that's it for now. Make sure to subscribe if you like the tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.